How's it guys? What's going on? My name is Rishan and welcome back to Take Scene Z. Today we're reviewing the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3, a dual-core Wi-Fi 6 plus home network router. So this is the standard fiber router most ISPs give you when registering for fiber like we did with Axis and you can check out that video up there. So the one good thing with this is that it's not a terrible router. It is cheap but it is pretty decent. This router has Wi-Fi 6 built in and it has several improvements over Wi-Fi 5. First of all, three times faster speeds, up to 1.2 gigabits per second. It has four times larger capacity with up to 128 device capacity. It has two thirds lower latency at up to 10 milliseconds and nearly 30% reduced power consumption. So AX3 and Wi-Fi 6 enabled Huawei phones are the perfect pair because both are equipped with Huawei's self-developed Wi-Fi chip, which, which supports 160 megahertz frequency bandwidth, bringing out the optimal speed and efficiency. So the other thing with this router is that the signal can go through more than one wall with the Huawei Wi-Fi 6. And Wi-Fi 6 enabled phones are able to send six decibels stronger signal back to the AX3 in a stable two megahertz narrow bandwidth. This means that your phone will have better reception with the Wi-Fi signal, even when connecting from upstairs or somewhere far away from the router. You'll be impressed with the blazing fast speeds delivered by the AX3, thanks to the 10, 24 QAM and 160 megahertz frequency bandwidth. This theoretical speed can reach up to 3000 megabits per second, 574 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth and 2402 uh, 2, on the 5 gigahertz bandwidth. The other thing with this router is that you can connect a multitude of devices to the AX3 and it's capable of sending data to multiple devices simultaneously up to a maximum of four devices on 2.4 gigahertz and up to 16 devices on the 5 gigahertz bandwidth and obviously i already mentioned the 128 devices overall this router also supports multi-router mesh networking and it enables a greater wi-fi coverage the ax3 supports wireless networking cable networking, as well as hybrid networking of wireless and cable. And after networking, multiple routers are automatically grouped under one Wi-Fi name, and the optimal Wi-Fi connection is automatically selected based on your device's location. So what are some of its product features? So it has a GigaHome dual-core 1.2 GHz CPU. It has four external antennas for improved coverage and reception. At the back, it's built with four gigabit ethernet ports as well as a gigabit WAN port. So this router retails for around 1,199 Rand on take a lot and around a thousand Rand from other retailers. So what are my personal opinions of this router? It has a very sleek design with a minimal impact on its overall design but the one thing with all the antennas at the back, it results in very poor overall coverage. So onto some of the pros and the cons. The first pro that I was able to find is its cost. Because it's a, quite a well-built router and for a price of a thousand Rand, it's very excellent. Although all four band all four antennas are at the back of the router and they aren't distributed around the router for coverage. It does have pretty decent coverage for an entry level router. And the final pro that I found was the 128 
device support. But realistically, I mean, if you're putting something like this in your home when you're talking about cost, you're never going to have 128 devices that you can connect to your router. I don't think you'll even surpass 32 devices. Moving on to the cons. The one con that I found was the poor design and distribution of the antennas as well as the ethernet ports. Many people don't worry about things like routers and they just want an internet connection. The router takes, this router takes basic user experience to the next level as well as its affordability. And I think it's a nice thing that most ISPs are giving out this router as their free or entry level router when you sign up for fiber. But yeah guys, uh, that's my two cents on the Huawei AX3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do have any questions on this router, you can leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content from us. And if you enjoyed this video, you can make sure you leave a like rating if you did. Guys, my name is Prashan, this has been TechScene ZA, and I'll see you in the next video.